Hello, welcome to Charm Health, your medical records management and practice management application on the cloud. This video tutorial explains how the interface works between labs and Charm Health for sending orders and receiving results electronically. In this video, we are going to cover topics on 1. How to create and transmit lab orders from an encounter. 2. How to create and transmit lab orders without creating an encounter. 3. Receiving and reviewing results electronically from the integrated lab. Creating and transmitting lab orders from an encounter. We will now explore the process of generating lab orders from a chart note during a patient's visit and sending them electronically to Charm Health Labs. Search for a patient and create an encounter. From the following selection, add diagnosis codes. In the recommendations section, select the Order Labs tab. The Search and Add option can be used to add the labs. Choose the integrated lab name in the lab dropdown. Charm Health Lab has established a bi-directional interface with your practice account where you can find all of the lab test information. Type out the test code or the first few characters of the test name you are looking for. Matching tests will be listed in the auto-suggested list. Selecting the test will add it to the chart note. If the selected test has add order entry or AOE questions, fill in the answers and add the tests to the chart note. Multiple tests can be searched and added to the lab order. Map DX. Once you have ordered the lab tests, you have to map the patient's active diagnoses to the lab orders using Map DX. The Map All DX checks box allows for the mapping of all of the patient active diagnoses to all tests. It is also possible to map diagnoses at a specific test level. Transmit lab order. To electronically transmit the chart note, add all tests and use the transmit function. The send order electronically option will display on the lab order summary view. Here you can verify the details of the lab order. Guarantor details are at the top of the page and can be edited if needed. If the guarantor details are configured in the patient demographics section, it will be automatically pulled here. If you have an in-house laboratory and are collecting specimens for this lab order, please fill out the specimen collection date and time. You can view AOE information below and take any necessary edits here. Bill type. Labs can be billed in three ways such as client, patient, and third party. You can select the option based on the individual who pays for the lab fee. One, if the bill is client, Practices take responsibility to pay the lab fee. If the bill type is patient, the lab fee will be laid by the patient directly to the laboratory. Three, if you select the third party billing, then the lab fee will be paid by the insurance company. Two, 
insurance details are pulled from patient demographics, patient details, and the insurance section. Primary insurance details are mandatory for third-party billing. Click Send Order to transport the lab orders electronically to the lab. Once it is electronically ordered, click Transmit to view the status of the lab order transmission. This opens up the order details view. Electronically sent information can be seen here, and the lab orders can be printed using the print option. In the lab's patient service center, lab staff pulls the associated electronic order from the lab system and draws a specimen from the patient being tested. If the specimen is being collected at the practice's in-house laboratory, it can be collected on-site and then transported to an integrated lab for testing. In the case of in-house specimens, the labels for the containers can be printed using Transmit. Print Specimen Label Action. Specify the count of the labels to be printed and print them. Paste the printed labels on the specimen container and transport to the integrated lab. The specimen label contains patient details, specimen collection date, and lab reference number. The lab identifies the electronic order associated with this lab reference number and performs the test on the specimen. Creating and transmitting lab orders from the lab order section without creating an encounter. Lab orders can be added without encounter from the lab order section using the plus lab orders button. Search for the required patient and select the search and add option to find the integrated lab and the tests you are looking for. Enter the AOE details if required. Map the diagnoses to the corresponding tests and save the order. Click the Send Order Electronically action item. This will open the order summary page. Enter the specimen collection date and time. Select the bill type based on the client and then place the lab order. Once the lab order is placed, the order status will be displayed in the lab order section. The print lab order option is used to download the lab orders. Lab order copy contains complete details of the tests ordered, AOE diagnosis details and billing details. Print specimen label can also be printed from the lab order section. lab result section. In this section, we are going to see the results that are being received electronically from the integrated lab and the review workflow. Once the lab completes the tests, the result will be pushed electronically to Charm Health. As the received result will be available in labs, lab results as well as the patient dashboard's lab records section. Received lab results are in the unsigned status, and the reviewer can review the results using the review action item. Result details received from the lab will be displayed in the review section. Corrected results. In a few scenarios, the lab could be corrected results for a previously sent final result.
the process of reviewing the corrected result will be the same as that of other results. Here, the status will be changed to corrected instead of final. Clicking the corrected result will show the previous results. The result can also be signed in this section. If the patient is already registered with a Charm Health PHR account, they could choose an option to share the record with the providers, allowing them to receive a copy of the result through the PHR application. You could also send an internal message to the patient if required. Signed results are moved to the signed filter view. Result report can be downloaded using the export as PDF option. Manually mapping a patient to an unsolicited result. Unsolicited results may be received with incorrect patient details. Such results cannot be mapped to the patient automatically. They are listed in the lab results section with an unknown patient. The patient can be mapped to this result by using the Map Patient option. The Map Patient view displays the patient information received in the result message, as well as the potential patients in your account that match the date and gender of the received patient details. If the probable patients list does not have an appropriate patient, use the search patient name or record ID field to pull the matching patient list by name slash record ID criteria. Map the appropriate patient to the result. Results can be reviewed after assigning an appropriate patient. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, please write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on social media for latest updates.